When you showed up drunk as hell, humming tunelessly to yourself and slumped against the auditorium's faux wood paneling. When you fumbled in the pockets of your coat, fished out a cigarette, brought it to your lips, then realizing for the first time where you were, tossed it away and said, fuck it, loud enough that everyone turned in their seats. And a friend elbowed me and asked if I knew you. I shook my head, then spent the next hour wondering why I was so glad you came. You who slept each night in your battered van, who skipped meetings and lied to your sponsor, who still called your ex-wife every day, restraining order be damned. You shouldn't have been there either. A hundred yards was the agreement after you gathered all the meds in the house into a shoebox and threatened to take them. You had come regardless. You were there, and I was there. And when I walked the stage, you hollered my name with a kind of wild conviction, then said it a second time, less convinced. And I thought of that night when the cops came, and you, unashamed of the fuss you caused, of your desperate public struggle for happiness, kissed me on the head once, twice, and went quietly.